Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanasia. This is your first time watching. Here on my channel, I focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and I also do a little bit of DIY. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss another upload. So today I'll be sharing with you all all of my fall wish list items. And I want to start by saying that my style is super casual, streetwear, um, I would say basics. That's normally what I wear. So my wish list items will reflect that. However, I do have some pricier items on my list and plus some statement pieces because that's what makes my outfits pop. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have my iPad here and I have everything on my iPad. So I'm going to start with handbags. And in handbags, I have my most expensive item on my list. And it is the Goyard Mini Sagon um, Top Handle Bag. And the color that I want is either green or blue. And I've seen like this a bag range on the used market for like $3,900 to upwards to like five thousand um i really don't know like the specific price because on their website they don't have the price it just has like contact us if you want the bag but i really love the wooden material that they use the top handle and i love the overall structure of the bag and i like fell in love with the bag when i saw side from scout the city um she did like a paris vlog years ago so i've been wanting this bag for years um she purchased the blue and it was like so beautiful and the reason why i wanted the color and not want to do like a neutral is because i don't want a whole bunch of neutral black bags a uh, bag like this that is like a really a statement i want it in a color next i have the Marc Jacobs leather crossbody bag and it's a snapshot and I really like this bag because I have that Herschel crossbody and it's like a super casual like I cannot wear that with a outfit like going like out to eat or like I like to go to a mall and I want to wear something like a little bit more nicer like casual but a little bit nice. It does not match the outfit and i feel like this bag it'll be something that i can definitely wear with more outfits and i just really like the structure of the bag it's small and it's just i feel like it's really nice so the next bag on my list y'all are gonna be like she showed the mark jacobs bag and said she don't carry that much and now she says that she wants this bag because she carries a good bit this bag is like a happy medium. So it's the Saint Laurent Cassandra Monogram Class Bag. And I want it either grain or I want it in this python. It's like a matte python. And this is like kind of a nude color. Well, it's not kind of. It is nude. And I really want this bag and it is the medium because I feel like the next size down is like the crossbody. No, it's not the crossbody. It is the on-chain. And I feel like the on-chain is just too small for me. You can't fit that much in it. But this bag, I feel like I can fit my essentials plus a little bit more. Like if I want to put like a lotion, a good size lotion, like a decent size perfume. I shouldn't be carrying like a big perfume. But you know, I want... A purse that I'm about spending this much money on because this one, the Python is expensive. It's like $3,000, Yeah, it's $3,750. And the other one is $2,350. The black grain. And it also comes in smooth leather, but I think I want the grain because smooth leather, I think, would scratch easily and you can probably see it but the on chain is like in the thousands so I, yeah it's in the thousands i can't think of like the exact number because i really don't want that one but i feel like if i'm spending this type of money on a bag i need something that will work for my lifestyle and i feel like this bag which i love the ysl logo on the bag um it just matches for what I want to do. So next in accessories, I want these Chloe eyeglasses. They're optical frames. 
So y'all probably don't know that I wear glasses and I don't wear them on this channel because I use lights and the glare of the lights will come on my glasses and then y'all will see that and I don't want that to happen so that's why I don't wear them. But I found these glasses and I love statement items as you know and I fell in love with these glasses. Um, the, They are ivory cat eye frames and they have like this cool marble detail and I just think that they're so beautiful. They're like so cute and for me I have a pair of Warby Parker clear glasses that I wear and I have a pair of Marc Jacobs glasses that I wear and I have a pair of Chanel glasses that I wear and I go between all three of those glasses and I just feel like I don't have anything in my collection of glasses which is awful to say that I have a collection of glasses because I get I used to get a new pair of glasses every year um but I think I really do need these and the good thing about these optical frames they are $60 I just rounded up because they're $59.97 they're inexpensive these glasses were originally $284 so very cost efficient. I can go to my um, eye doctor and get them to put my medicine in these and I just have to figure out how much it'll cost but this is so much cheaper than me getting a pair of glasses from the eye doctor. Let's get into some shoes. So the first pair that I have is the Social Status Free Lunch Dunk and these People would say these are a mid dunk, but this style was created, well, yeah, style was created by social status. So it's not really a mid, but it's not a low. It is like an in-between sneaker. And this is the chocolate milk dunk, and I really do love this sneaker. I love the story behind the sneaker, and if you lived in I wouldn't say lived in a lower income area if you ever had to take part in the free lunch program which actually helps those who um need assistance and food during the summer and they also have the program during the school year which I know about because in the school that I went to they offered um the free lunch program it's amazing that they're bringing awareness through um, releasing this shoe and I just really do love the details of this sneaker I love the colors that they use like it has a very unique color story I really want the chocolate ones and also I really want the strawberry and I'm having a hard time deciding so I just really want this sneaker so the next sneaker on my list is the Adidas NERD NMD HU sneaker um, I only have the Adidas slides. I have like this red, blue, like a gorgeous pair of slides, the Yeezy slides, and two pair of Adidas Superstars. I think that's like all the Adidas that I have. And I don't have the silhouette. And I just feel like the silhouette, I like them. But what really made me like them is because I'm a fan of Nerd, N-E-R-D. And also... I just really do love this colorway. I just think like the cream is like so beautiful. It has that peach color and that really light like I don't know what the exact name of the blue, but it has this really pretty blue, light blue. And I just think that it will be like a nice um fall and winter sneaker and I feel like I can get a good bit of wears out of them. The only thing I'm scared about is like the color because like what if I'm eating and I get something on them. I feel like they'll get dirty easily but I mean I just really love the color of these sneakers. Next I have a pair of sneakers like I don't know when they are going to release but it's that Air Jordan 1 I'm a Manier collab and it's just a beautiful sneaker and I saw them on sneaker news and kicks on fire and they're going to come out like sometime during the holidays but I just know for me personally I would just get a whole bunch of wears out of them so that's why I just really want them. Next I have not a sneaker. We're done with sneakers. I have a pair of Sam Elman loafers and I really do want these loafers because I like the Louis Vuitton um, loafers and I'm not paying that price tag for that. Um, so 
Sam Elman, I feel like has a really nice dupe, but it's not monogram. It's all black, and I feel like I'll get so many wears out of them. So let's go ahead and get into clothes. I've been looking for a, a two-piece set because I really do love those because they're, for one, easy to dress because you already have two pieces. All you have to do is add some shoes and accessories. I found one at Zara. It's this beautiful, um, I think, cobalt blue. And I just really love how relaxed it is and how I can dress this up or down. So next I have a plaid shirt that is from the brand R13. I found this at Ford. It is FWRD. And the shirt is like $595. Expensive. And you see why it's on the wish list. But. I found a dupe of the shirt that is at Nordstrom, but it's the Urban Outfitters brand um, BDG, and it gives the same vibes, and I really do like the one from Urban Outfitters better because it is, like, still giving you, like, the colorful look, but it is more muted and more neutral, and I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of them. So, I love, like oversized pieces and just pieces that are just comfortable and I love cardigans like when I tell you I wear cardigans all the time year round and this one is at Free People and it's South Bend Cardi and this one is $298 and you see why it's on the wish list because that is super expensive. I need a coupon for this. And I just really do love the color of this cardigan. And I just feel like I can just get a lot of wears out of this cardigan. So uh, next, I want a pair of jeans from Abercrombie. Because they are killing it. And I hear like so many great things about Abercrombie jeans. So I just really want a pair. Specifically the 90s straight leg jeans because I see them everywhere. Next, I want a pair of leather pants and I found these pants at Nordstrom. They're from the brand Way F and they are the Robertson faux leather trousers. And I really do love these because they are a wide leather pants and they have elastic at the waist. And that's very important for me because leather does not have stretch and I would need something like this to fit my waist. I will go ahead and tell you that I did purchase these um, leather pants, but I purchased them in a medium and I need a small because they were huge. Definitely listen to the reviews because they said that they ran large, but me being like, hey, I'm probably wider than y'all. I might need that medium. No, I need a small. So I'm waiting for these to come back in stock so I can get them again. But I absolutely love them. They have, they're just a great quality leather pant and they just look really good. So from Aritzia, I really do want this tank top and it is the Sculpt Chris tank. And my sister got this tank top and it's just great quality and I saw it all over um, TikTok and I just really want this um this tank top i just really want it i can wear it now and then i can wear it in the summer in the spring i can get so much wear out of this top and everybody who has done reviews on this top says that it's worth the price the 58 dollars and last on my list is a pair of sweatpants from abercrombie so it's the lux terry wide leg sweatpants and it costs $59. I need Abercrombie to have a sale before I get these. Because I feel like paying $59 for a pair of sweatpants. And it's not really nothing special about them. It's a little bit outrageous. So, I definitely need to wait on a sale. These, they're in the color Deep Taupe. And I really do love the color. That's why I'm waiting for them. Because I have not found a sweatpant that's wide leg. That is of this color and i know y'all are like but you buy jordan sweatpants you buy nike adidas i absolutely do and the quality is there and i don't know if the quality is going to be here enough for me to spend 59 dollars so that is why they are on my wish list okay so that is everything that's on my fall wish list um i will definitely update you all on some of the things when i do purchase them 
from my wish list. So please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss another upload. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, y'all.